It's a good looking little flooded hole right there. Yeah. My goodness. Where? I could have swore I heard something land. Is it hollow bottom? Where at? It's like we spotted Bigfoot. I gotta watch that Tim Wells video you're talking about today in blind later. Yeah. There oh, there it is. There's that was a dove. Huh? We heard They're something on Was it? Yeah. Big ducks. Right on top of it. <laughs> on the left doing it. Kill him, guys. Up top. Get him. Nice. Nice. He's, that one's not feeling too uh -oh. healthy. He killed the drake then, Tail. Fred, here. Here, 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 here. Dead bird. Fred, dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fred, dead bird. Fred. All right. I'll get it, dude. Look at that. Oh, nice shot, dude! Fred! That was sweet! Look at this, dude. Look at that monster. He's a pretty good one. You got a finisher? He's pretty. He didn't yeah, use a finisher on him. He's pretty. Good, here! Let's go, here! Hey, White, how about your shot, Kim? Let's go. Come on. Hey, here, here, heel. Good. Drop. No. <laughs> You're a snack hound. Dude wants one of Grandma's cookies. I'm sure Cameron wants one of Grandma's cookies. Well, hunts over. Yeah, very, very short lived. Uh, we had a good time sitting gabbing though after the first uh, two pintails. Uh, they missed the hen unfortunately got that good looking drake pintail um and then shot one teal and that's really all the ducks we've seen uh it's really warming up it's supposed to be i believe like 90 degrees today 87 93 something like that i really don't want to look at the weather again uh to find out so we are uh, at one of my leases, the big sand pit where I'm pulling water from it to my little tree pond um, in the back. And I just brought a fresh fuel can. Was gonna fire it up. Come on, Fred. Fred's with us. Um, I always walk the line to and from the pump looking for holes, usually after it's running. Um, but this one's pretty noticeable. You guys uh, that were all here for the original video of uh, renovating the old pond. Look at this. I don't know if this is repairable, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to have to replace this whole line, but right here is the issue. Right here in this area. There is a den of critters over there, and this is really where all the holes began. As you can tell, it's muddy. It leaks a lot. Look at that. Yeah, I can't even turn on the freaking pump because that's, it's just going to waste a ton of water. So I have an option, either repair the hose, that big hole, or replace this section, which is about 65 bucks, I think. But then what's going to happen right here? The same thing. I'm going to be out another $70 hose 
could be a week, could be a day, could be an hour after I put it in there. So I need to find some good hose repair. Hopefully it works. If not, I don't know. Drop a comment down below. Um, the bad thing is I can get some, you know, hose repair like tape. Um, but with it deflated like it is flat, you can't tape around it. And then to expand the hose, you'd have to turn on the pump, which then you can't tape it because now there's water everywhere. I know whatever I do on these holes, I don't believe it's going to 100% seal them up. They're still going to leak. And the critters are still going to keep chewing. That's the issue. Looks like all this is holding good. There it is. We got to check right here. This is another problem area. Right here is a decent sized hole. Wherever it's wet, where is it at? Hopefully they haven't gnawed it worse. Hi, Fred. Yeah, right there. Oh, sorry, Fred. <laughs> he got freaked out. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Come on, buddy. Let's go. But you can tell, look, the raccoons just walk on the hose. Tons of footprints, look tons of footprints they just walk on top of the hose pain in my butt raccoons are such a pain in the butt they really are here is the pond not looking too shabby not looking too shabby we got some millet growing it's really small it looks like fresh grass I have not seen the duck get in here yet I think it's time to uh, start really running the pump and try to fill it up all the way to the actual the actual bank. I just kind of been babysitting it. I don't know if you guys can see this. Before I flooded it, it had big cracks everywhere and it was real dry. And I scattered out millet and it went down into those cracks. I don't know if you can see that. See that green vegetation under there? That's all millet, Japanese millet growing. It's actually taken off. And <clears throat> with this hot sun, warmer weather, I have about one more week of food growth in there before we get a nasty cold front, which I can't wait for. It's gonna be like high, mid 40s, lows in the 30s, 20s. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna see a bunch of speckle bellies show up. I can promise you that. What to do with the holy hose. I'm going to go to Atwoods and run around real quick, see if I can find an option. I'm sweating my bunions off. Well, man, from the last time I seen you guys, it's probably been five days. Had to put the old pond on hold. Had to go to Kansas City for the Chiefs game. Good win, boys. I came today uh, planning to fix the hose um, got gnawed up some more i bought a few couplers to splice the hose together in the bad areas uh, couplers uh, hose clamps to go on either side wrong size wouldn't work so i was like you know what forget it let's try it this route i went back to atwoods bought two new hoses two new strands replaced the problem areas with brand new hose. Then I went and got this while I was at Atwoods. This is Animal Repels All Animal Repellent Rodent Squirrels, Rabbits, Deer, Raccoons, everything, every type of varmint pest. I sprayed the entire uh, the, the main problem areas, those two strands, I, I doused the ground all around it and the entire hose. Um, and then I came up and just wasted the whole bottle trying to cover as much hose in other areas that I figured will probably be a problem at some time. But um, with the pump being down because of bad hoses and not getting it done quickly, look how much the pond went down. Yeah. It was all the way up here. 
Our millet though is coming in nice. Um, it's everywhere, growing really good. Uh, I wish I would have got the millet in sooner like I stated before, but we're up and running. Hopefully the rodent repellent actually works. I think I'm at, if it does, if I don't see any bite marks in those problem areas, um, we're supposed to be getting some rain. I'll probably buy like another gallon or two of it, put it in a big backpack sprayer and just douse the entire hose two to three times over. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we got it figured out. But I'm gonna get off of here. Uh, I got so much to do. Uh, first clients of guide season here at Sand Hill Flyways come in less than two weeks. I think it's 12 days, 13 days. Uh, so lots to do at the lodge. We're working our butts off cleaning, uh, getting everything prepped, buying new stuff. Um, just completely getting it ready for all of the special folks coming. I cannot wait. I am amped up. Uh, we should be getting a ton of birds this weekend. Y'all have seen the forecast. I don't have to tell you about it. It's going to knock down some birds. There's a lot of snows, specks, ducks uh, in South Dakota. They will be arriving this weekend, I would imagine. But thank you all for being here. If you're looking to book a hunt with me, do it. Spots are almost completely full. There are some random ones where I can fit two, three, four, six guys. Got some January dates for private groups. Uh, January dates are amazing. Uh, lots of snow geese. Awesome juvie hatch this year, so it is going to be exciting. Sand Hill Flyways is always linked down at the top of the description below. All you got to do is fill out the booking form. Yours truly will be reaching out. Please, serious inquires only. We are almost there and I am ready to go. More videos will be popping soon. The podcast I have kind of put on hold because I've been so busy. Uh, the boys will start getting in town uh, probably the end of this week. Uh, we'll start scouting, doing blind work, grassing blinds, tra getting trailers unloaded and reloaded with decoys the whole nine yards. So podcasts will start popping off one to two a week for sure here very soon. Thank you all. I have got to go. Have a good day, but until next time.